It's Friday, May 17, 2019. Welcome to Weekly Wire. Here's a look at some local South Washington County news. Last Saturday, the Cottage Grove Police Department opened their doors and invited the community to stop by. Hundreds of people took the opportunity to explore the facility and check out squad cars, the SWAT van, police four-wheelers, fire trucks, and more. For fun, the department even had their newest officer stay in a holding cell until he talked to 200 visitors. The St. Paul Park Police Department also had an open house on Saturday where residents stopped by to check out squad cars, tour the department, watch a canine demonstration, and enjoy a free lunch. Officers also had interactive booths where people could try on a pair of drunk goggles or tactical gear, as well as throw stop sticks. Three lucky kids even won a free bike in a raffle. Cottage Grove is looking for volunteers to help remind residents to think about what goes down the drains. All the storm drains in the city flow into local ponds, lakes, and rivers. The Parks Department is asking for volunteers to paint a Keep It Clean stencil near your neighborhood drain. All materials are provided by the city. Simply contact the Parks Department to get started. If you're into cars, then there are two local weekly shows you should know about. Every Wednesday, the Culver's parking lot in Cottage Grove transforms into a car show with several people showing off and chatting about their rides from 5 p.m. until dark. Then on Thursday evenings from 6 until 9 p.m., the St. Paul Park Newport Lions Club runs a car show on 5th Street and Broadway Avenue. Anyone is welcome to stop by. The Maxwell Avenue ramp in Newport is now open. MnDOT continues to make progress on the I-494 project, but lane closures will continue as they work on this phase, which is expected to be completed in late summer. The entire project is expected to be complete in the fall of 2020. Check out MnDOT's website for complete project details. You'll be seeing improvements made to several parks in Woodbury this summer. Crews are already installing two new playgrounds, including the city's first natural play area in Elke Park. Pickleball courts will be installed at Wynwood Passage, and park crews have removed the 26-year-old playground at Lakeview Knowles Park. A new play structure will be installed later this summer. Kids in St. Paul Park ages 5 to 13 can sign up for the summer recreation program at Heritage Park. Activities will be planned from noon until 4 p.m. during the week. Contact City Hall to register. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more local news. Be sure to subscribe to our Weekly Wire podcast and find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube.